Thank you. Yes, so I'm the Global Lead for Science for the British Council, uh, which is the UK's international cultural relations organisation. But before I tell you kind of what we do, I just wanted to share um, a little bit of wisdom, if that works, uh, from a little girl called Mafalda. Has anybody heard of Mafalda? Yay, at least one. <laughs> so, a few. So, uh, Mafalda is a creation of the Argentinian comic strip genius Kino. Uh, and although these strips were written before I was born, almost 50 years ago, she's still quite uh, famous in Latin America. Um, she was a little girl, she's growing up in Argentina, and she shares a lot of the same concerns and worries that we have now. So she's an ardent supporter of women's rights, uh, she's worried about the state of the world, the conflict, the growing population and how to feed it. But she's also a real fan of technological progress and she's really excited by space exploration and she loves the Beatles. Uh, and this uh, comic strip that I'll show you, it's in Portuguese because that's how I had it in Portuguese, so I've translated it for you here, um, is just one where Mafalda's thinking about what she's going to be when she grows up and how she's going to be a UN interpreter and she's going to solve all of the problems of the world by getting the delegates to be nice to each other, basically. <laughs> and so I'm showing this because I think this demonstrates a little bit of what British Council is trying to do. So hopefully we're not doing it through bad translation, uh, but we are effectively trying to get people to talk to each other, to understand each other, to, to build mutual respect and trust in each other. Um, and that's not just across geographical boundaries. It's also across boundaries of discipline or of sector between universities, NGOs. It's all about uh, the work that we do, whether it's through arts, through English, through the science work that we do. It's about trying to get people to understand, work together for a common goal. Uh, and the last bit in the, in the cartoon, of course, tells me about why we're doing it, because it's all about protecting the world, making it a better place for future generations. So in the 50 years since that strip was uh, written, science and engineering have made a massive contribution to improving people's lives, whether it's through agricultural medicine or uh, access to clean water. Um, and British Council is trying to support projects around the world uh, in these areas, whether it's through our own initiatives or through uh, programmes like the, the UK government's Newton Fund, which some of you uh, may be aware of. Through this, we're funding a really diverse range of projects, from electronic waste recycling in Vietnam, to social enterprise in South Africa, to uh, seaweed farming in Malaysia. Um, but they're all using science and engineering to address issues that are faced by the poorest and most vulnerable communities in the world today. We find that they work best, and I think it's been illustrated a lot before, when they're not just uh, isolated from wider society and wider communities. Um, and so we do, uh, in, in our grants, we provide a, a number of grants, so ranging from PhD uh, students, workshops, longer term research and innovation collaborations. But through all of our grants, we try to encourage engagement with non-academic partners whether that's uh, NGOs, whether it's public health um, services, with, uh, whether it's um, other civil society groups or SMEs even. Um, and we think this is because we need, really need to ensure that the knowledge doesn't stay just within the academic community, but it gets out and it gets, it gets a greater impact. And I think probably we're preaching to the converted a little bit here because I think everybody here is, is signed up to that, I would imagine. Um, but we also want to ensure that indigenous knowledge is, is recognised uh, and rewarded for what it is. And so it's, it's got to be a, a two-way conversation as well, I think. Uh, and then finally, just to emphasise, it's, pro it's probably quite small that you can't see that there, but throughout all of the work that we do, we want to promote equality, diversity and inclusion. And that's because that's good not just for underrepresented groups, but it's good for everyone. It benefits everyone to have that diversity in projects, in discussions, in programmes. Um, and I 
did want to keep very short, so this is my uh, final slide. But this is just a final lesson from Mafalda. And this is where Mafalda's worrying about what's going to happen when the population of the world reaches 7 billion. So that was the number that they were worried about back then. We know we've always already passed that. We're thinking about 9 billion now. Um, but she's concerned about this, and her friend Philippe comes along, and he says, Ah, oh, Mafalda, don't worry about it. The problem isn't the number of people. What's important is that the percentage of stupid people doesn't increase. <laughs> and for me, I, know, I mean, we know, we know that stupidity isn't just about knowledge or the lack of knowledge. It's about what you do with knowledge. Uh, and I like that term of the planetary intelligence that, that Chris talked about. But I think that's probably a challenge for all of us. How do we make sure that the percentage of stupid people doesn't increase? That's it. <laughs>